Hi, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Hey, what's up? Nothing much. Aren't you tired of these boring responses? Well, I am. So in today's video, I'm going to show you some interesting and new ways of responding to how are you. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am Annie and I am here to help you with your spoken English, your vocabulary and your communication skills. And in today's video, I am going to show you some new ways of responding to the very boring question, how are you? Before we begin, if you are new to my channel or you are watching my videos for the first time, don't forget to check out my other videos too and if you like them, please subscribe. You can also follow me on Instagram. I leave the link in the description below. Let's begin. So the very basic response to how are you is I'm good or I'm fine. But take a look at these easy responses by adding pretty, quiet and actually. You can say I'm pretty well or I'm pretty good. You can add quiet. I'm quite well. I'm quite good. This is actually quite formal, best to use for interviews and workplace. Now when we use actually, it means that it is a realization. You have just realized that you are good. I'm good actually. This means you have just realized you're good and everything's quite well. Now these are still pretty basic. Let's look at some interesting ones. You can say, I've never been better. I've never been better. This means you're doing truly great. I've never been better. You can also use so far, so good. This you can use when you are doing a task and someone asks you how you are and how everything is going. For example, if you are at a new job and someone asks you, how's your new job? And you can say, so far, so good. You could also say, can't complain. This actually means that you are doing pretty good and you don't want to brag about it. So you say, can't complain, others have it much worse, can't complain. But if you change the tone and say, can't complain, this means that you are not doing well, but you can't do anything about it at the moment. So you just say, can't complain, I guess, can't complain. Another one is better than I deserve. This one is actually quite nice and it means that you're doing pretty well, better than I deserve. Now what to say when you're doing neither good nor bad, sort of okay. You could say so-so, nor good nor bad, could be better but so-so. You could also say not too bad. Again, watch the tone. If you say not too bad, it means that things are pretty bad but it could be worse so you just say not too bad but if you say not too bad it means that things are going well and you expected them to be a lot worse but you are just happy and shocked that they are well so you say not too bad if something's really boring and average you could say same old same old you could also say good enough which means that you are okay with whatever you have at the moment. Good enough. Some sarcastic responses are, I was alright, but then you showed up. Use this carefully, people might get offended. You can also say, I'm good now, but there is plenty of time for everything to go horribly wrong. This one's my favorite. Now let us look at some negative responses. What to say if you're having a bad day for whatever reason? Well, quite a nice way to start off saying something negative is, I'm not going to lie. This makes the other person prepared for the negativity that's about to escape your mouth. So, I'm not going to lie. I'm not good. You could say, I'm not going to lie. I feel terrible. Or, I'm not going to lie. Things are quite tough. Or you can also say it's been a tough day, week, year or month. It's been quite a tough day. You could also say I'm not doing so good or I'm struggling a bit at the moment. Now what if you don't want to answer the question and people still keep on asking you which is quite annoying. So here are certain ways you can avoid the question. You can simply say don't ask. 
like honestly don't ask or you can also say you really don't want to know you really don't want to know and you can also say do i really have to answer that do i really have to answer that right that is it for today's video i hope you found this helpful do use this in your conversation and the next time someone texts you how are you skip the boring i'm fine thank you go ahead like share and comment don't forget to subscribe and follow me on instagram i'll see you next time take care bye